Karen Allen, what, in your view, is self-management? What does that mean? For me, it is when you're in control of your illness, or basically in control of your life. Your illness is no longer impacting on the things that you can do. That um, You can make decisions, make plans. If you let it get to you and don't get on top of it, it can take over your life. And I think you need to be... It's got to come from within, and you've got to decide yourself that this is not going to take over my life. How easy, though, is it to be able to self-manage a long-term condition? You've, you've got lupus, for example. But how easy is it to self-manage a, a long-term condition, given uh, the way that you know, support and various groups are at the moment? Lupus is quite uh, complicated and quite difficult to self-manage. Um, where I am today has taken years and years and years. My condition is very much under control, and therefore... It's not affecting me. I've got no mobility problems at the moment, whereas if I was in a flare-up, things like that would be constricting me. And I think I'm very positive. I've got things that I want to do, and I'm just making the point of doing them. In your experience, then, what does self-management give you that you wouldn't just get by going to the doctor, for example, and doing what you're told? I think, to begin with, um, I had contact with my local support group and I got a lot of support and help from them. Just the fact that you're speaking to somebody else who has been through the, th the same things as you're going through, you're realising how they're coping with it and getting on with their lives, so that gives you the confidence to do the same. And what are you now doing about it? How do you take it further? Well. Within my group, we've decided, to, because of the Long-Term Condition Alliance and our grant, our project, is to take awareness, basically, to the roots with the junior medical staff at Glasgow University. And we plan to speak to junior doctors about the illness and make them aware of the illness and the impact it has on lives at the very early stages of their career. At the end of that, we'll be presenting them with a doctor's handbook from Lupus UK, and we ourselves are going to print out a, a short stories booklet. And it basically, that will be histories of members of our group, and it will say how they have coped with their, with their lupus and what they've had to go through to be diagnosed and how they've coped with that and how they live their day-to-day -day lives. What would you say to people who feel that this is putting too much pressure on patients, that it's okay for maybe somebody like you, but that not everybody uh, can achieve what you've achieved? I think you've got to allow that there's some people who just won't be able to do it, and you've got to accept that, and there'll be people who need more support than other people. But within our group, we feel that we're encouraging people to self-manage, and it gives them confidence and it raises their own self-esteem. And I think where the medical profession is concerned, I don't believe it is cost-cutting. Many patients who have had a lot out of the system are quite happy to give back into it. And that's a personal thing in my point of view.